and welcome back to Material Energy Cubed. On the Feed the Beast launcher, the jam-packed winning contest entry for 2014 by Parcel31U. Hi, welcome back. I'm here again on my little thing, my little station here, my little Material Energy Cubed. Uh, I've been playing around with a few bits and pieces that we uh, need to go through today. Uh, just to quickly get us started before we go on a quick adventure. Uh, hopefully we get the adventure started today. If not, uh, maybe even finish today. Let's see. It might extend on to the following episode as well. Uh, put my helmet on before I forget. Uh, I've got a few things that has happened in the comments uh, that uh, I need to take care of. A few things that people have said in the comments that I need to take care of. <laughs> yeah, my mob farm. That's the first thing. Uh, Enderman seems to be trying to troll me just there. That's good. Thank you, Enderman. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's a little bit of an adaption on the design I had last time round. Uh, I've still got the uh, dark area on the top here. With uh, now I've got these conveyor belts pushing the mobs down and out and over the edge. Go on, down you go, buddy. See you later. Go on, go on. Off you go. Off you go. Spiders glitch a bit, and it seems to be lots and lots of spiders spawn here. That's like the main thing is spiders. So I'm getting lots of string, and there's been comments about getting spider spawn to get string and all that sort of stuff. Yep, well, I've uh, I've solved that problem already. That's sorted. Uh, and there was a comment from some other dude that was uh, how to collect all the loot drops at the bottom. So basically just running them off and dropping them down there, and I'll just keep making it bigger. So far, it's been pretty productive. The only thing that I've got as a downside is I've got some rogue endermen dropping down and occasionally a spider will escape and come down and try and knock at my door. Uh, but if we follow all the way down through the levels, I've uh, got this set up down on the base here. Uh, this is basically where they are falling down and the loot drops are not being picked up if they spread too far. Uh, I've got a vacuum hopper that's feeding into these two chests and uh, as you can see there's quite a large amount of loot being gathered but it's all well string and stuff I mean there's a saddle I think I saw a pig uh, with a saddle and some skeleton riding a pig with a saddle it's a bit crazy I know uh, <laughs> yeah it's starting to hot up a bit now uh, it gets quite fast when I'm well away because oh there goes an enderman uh, because they just keep spawning and falling, spawning and falling. And that spider there may find his way back out to something else. So I've got a few little issues that I've still got to sort out, including where that enderman may have just gone. Oh, there he is. Uh, I'm not going to look at you. I'm not going to look at you. I don't need to look at you. Um, but it's filling up very fast with junk, stuff that I'm not so keen on stocking up on but I can get rid of in mine chem no doubt so uh, there's a fair bit a little bit of junk gets dropped over the side there I do have a thing to do uh, over there that uh, craftsman Chris has introduced to me to get the uh, iron spikes down there and get some XP tanks and some uh, uh, let the vacuum hopper suck up the XP as they fall onto the iron spikes and kill them via iron spikes instead they're gonna die anyway but kill them via iron spikes and then I want to transport the loot upstairs into the uh, ME system. Uh, but we'll get round to that. Thanks for the suggestion though, Chris. Uh, Craftsman Chris. I will uh, get round to that. Another thing that has been bugging us for a while. And loads of really cool comments. Loads of really cool comments. The witch. Right here. Right here. Now normally I look out for um, blocks that look different, but in this crazy floor, each one of these blocks looks slightly different, so I didn't spot it. But Platinum Altara and a few others have been giving me lots of hints as to where that is. So we've finally got all the trophies. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and I had a little hunt around around here to look for something else as well. And in the red wool over here, there is a carpenter's safe. And in the carpenter safe, there is a what time is it? What time is it? Hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure what to make of that. I've heard some uh, terrible things can come out of these little things, like uh, like the diamond one 
Uh, quite a few people have said about this diamond one. Uh, one person in particular, name on screen now because I've forgotten right now, uh, said that the diamond one actually... Ooh, we want to be down here. The diamond one actually is a big trap. There's a wither boss in there. So when I see the diamond horde thing, then I'm going to run away. Basically, I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't think I have enough power down here right now. Uh, maybe enough for one use. What time is it? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Uh, what time is it, as in there's a clock in there? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. Let's just see. Uh, okay, we've got a dude. Uh, let's get the other backpack, uh, golden backpack on there. Da -da. Get the uh, golden lasso and find out who this is. This is... Killer! Killer2401. Well, thank you, Killer2401 mini-me. I'll put you to one side as well. And switch that off. This is going to need a recharge now. Yeah, it's pretty much dead now. Uh, but that's okay. That's alrighty. So what's in here? Let's first have a quick look underneath. I'm starting to get suspicious of everything now. Uh, this is just spruce planks. Okay. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any traps up here. Okay. So I, uh, I can't see any possible problems. And inside we've got uh, a full suit of iron, maybe. Okay. Full suit of iron and an iron sword. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. What time is it? Time to strike, maybe. Time to strike, that might be it. Uh, yeah, so, that's that bit done anyway. Um, as for the bees, I'll do you a quick update on the bees. Uh, the power of pink has been worked on a little bit. I've got four pink generators. And I've got quite a bit of stuff going on in here. But power is keep it just keeps running out. So the power of pink alone is not enough. Um, uh, Lul Loser, Lul Loser suggested automation upgrades, and I've tried those. It increases the energy consumption, but automatically swaps the bees back into the right slots. So I don't need to mess about with putting the bees back in. They just constantly produce. But maybe that 10% extra energy consumption is eating up all of my pink power. So these two bees here can't keep up. And I don't think I've got another pink bee in here to set about making pink combs. So getting the processing to process the pink combs will probably be better. And then I can put in like pink wool or pink uh, pink dirt or something. Uh, yeah, that's about it for over that side update wise. Um, mine chem wise. Mine chem wise, wow. We have got so much stuff in these little drives at the minute. Uh, we've got to be careful we don't get jumped on now. Uh, all of this gear is working nicely. I've got um, a lever infinite thing going there now. It's all looped around and doing stuff. But there's not enough space in the AE system anymore to collect all of these hydrogen, oxygens, and carbons, and nitrogens, and all that. There's just not enough room for them anymore. I've got so much that I'm literally about to chuck it away. 36k, um, 36,000 hydrogen, um, 13k of carbon, uh, that's 4,000 nitrogen and 8,800 oxygen. It's far too much stuff in there at the minute. Uh, I've got a full thing of stone by the looks of it now. That looks like that's been working over time. But that's stored in a barrel rather than in the AE system. So that's that's pretty good. That's good. So that's full now. So I can just keep having the iron and stone make loads of factory blocks. Um, but I've taken all the iron out already to use it on the conveyor belt. So uh, then the place just filled up with hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. And uh, yeah, kind of stuck. In fact... It's so stuck that I've run out of charcoal. So whatever's left in... Well, actually, whatever's left in these cells is now all I've got to look forward to. So I really need to do a clear out of this to get all systems back flowing again and figure out what I'm going to do with all of this carbon, nitrogen, and all that kind of stuff um, as a regular thing. Uh, I think Mine Chem uh, covers that. There's something I can do with it. So I'll, I'll figure something out later on. Um... And I'm even having to store stuff in this chest over here just to because I couldn't put it back into the inventory over here because this is just too full. I can't put anything in it. Um, 
So I think I'm going to have to just get rid of hydrogen and just start filtering it out into a dump. Uh, so we might as well get that done straight away before we get going too far ahead. Uh, so I'm going to need a... Well, I'm going to need NEI for a start. So let's put NEI back on. Thank you. I'm going to need a trash can. Yep, a trash can. And we should... Oh, dear. I haven't got enough stone up here. Let's get some stone out of this system over here. Um, I'm going to need a trash can and an export bus. Uh, possibly just a straightforward export bus. Just for now, just to get it over and done with. Uh, and then we can just start throwing away the stuff we don't want. Um, there, there, there. There we go. And I don't know, but I may have already in my golden bags the tools that I need. Let's see. Import bus. No. Storage bus. No. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have one. Mm. A storage bus would work. Um, yeah. I hear you. Where are you? You want to fight? I want to fight. I'm fighting this episode. Didn't you know? This is the episode I do some fighting in. Yes. I'm going to get started on doing lots of fighting this episode. I'm going to clear out a level today. Um, okay, so we've got the trash can. Um, I suppose I could swap something around just for a moment rather than making a new one because that might be a bit of a hassle. Let's put the trash can on here. Let's take the iron out of there and turn this around, flip it so it's facing the trash can. There we go. And let's take some of the components that we don't really want cluttering up the system. Because there's like so much hydrogen and so much nitrogen and so much oxygen because there's so much in there it means that the the whole making carbon and making that it's just going to be over overdoing it we're going to have loads and loads so i can turn this off again anytime i want let's just move stacks doesn't require a redstone signal and these guys should just get deleted let's see if that's clearing up the system a bit uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while for getting all that, but everything else will start kicking into gear and start making stuff. The carbon's starting being turned into uh, um, charcoal, and the iron will start working again, and all of that. I'll start having a supply of iron in here. Uh, yeah, at some point, uh, yep, yeah, the iron's starting to go up 256 already in there. So all that should start getting things back on track just by emptying out the system quickly. And of course the system will fill back up quickly enough as well because the production's great. Uh, what else did we have? Oh yes, the Oceans of Water quest. Now, uh, uh, Kenneth Snyder, who's been leaving me plenty of nice comments and giving me lots of hints and tips, suggested um, to get the Oceans of Water quest done as quickly as possible because it requires a ton. This is a side quest off of the thermal expansion stuff, Oceans of Water. Um, had to make a stack upgrade and some speed upgrades, and then the consume task is like a million water. So I've set this up to do as fast as possible. I've uh, put the stack upgrades and the speed upgrades that I had. I needed one speed upgrade to make the stack upgrade, so I ended up making four speed upgrades and one stack upgrade, leaving me these guys just to constantly filter the water out into this tank and down into that system. There's probably a quicker way, but as that's like the end of a quest line, I may as well just leave it to run for now and work on other things. Other things I will get around to. I've done the portable storage, I've done the dynamos, uh, I've done all but the resident portable tank. Uh, I've got the sawmill, but I haven't got enough trees right now. I've got the... Uh, Induction smelter, but I haven't done anything to get slag yet uh, or rich slag and then that moves on to whatever that one is So we'll do those ones later uh, But I'm spoiling for a fight. I'm spoiling for a fight. I want to get in and involved in something uh, And I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is that I'm gonna get myself involved in to be honest Let's take that one. We don't need that one on us and that one it gives us a load of spare bits and pieces Stuff for the bees and things. Uh, yeah, let's take the miner's backpack and the digger's backpack. Um, I'm going to take some ender pearls just in case I need them. And a spare golden lasso in case there's anything that I want to get rid of. And uh, a second invar sword. 
And as for the rest of it, I'm going to put the rest of my bags in there for safekeeping. Just to keep it out of the way. I'll put that down there as well. I don't really need that on me. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's take it anyway, we've got plenty. And we've got a bit of that. Got my armour, my leggings need a bit of repair. Let's see about leggings. Uh, we've got a diamond leggings or a copper leggings. Well, we could take a diamond leggings, that's not too bad. I can probably make those again. I'm pretty sure mine chem allows for making um, making diamonds as well. It's like compressed carbon. I haven't checked yet, but I'll probably get on to making a load of diamonds at some point. Uh, do I have anything to enchant these leggings with? Uh, fire protection, feather falling, projectile protection, respiration. I could possibly use projectile protection. Uh, yeah, I might do that. Let's get these uh, leggings enchanted. I've only got 16 levels right now. Uh, but that's only going to cost me a bit. I heard an enderman and then... The wow. Do you see me jump then? I jumped straight for the escape key. Okay, well, that's that done. And the anvil's gone. Good job I've got plenty of iron, isn't it? Woo! That, uh, that kind of uh, shocked me there. Uh, what have we got to do in the Left Alone quest? Because I'm thinking of going to the Messer. And the Messer's all about this lot, isn't it? I've got this, which was unlocking the Messer itself. And then I've got to get the clay, which is 100 to get the coins. And I've got this as well. We're testing the range of wireless connections in under layers of clay in the new design of an AE facility under a Messer. Turns out the clay has no effect. There should be tons of them down there, still in the simulated Messa. The task is where I need to go and collect the specifics. 200 wireless boosters. And for that, I get more wireless boosters. What? So I've got to hand in 200 wireless boosters to get a load more wireless boosters. Some coins, some reward bags, and a wireless access terminal. Which is cool, because then I can access everything from around the base. The reward bags... That's starting to intrigue me, because people have told me that there is a reward bag that gives you a built-up mob farm. I think uh, Rick and Zach both oh, 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 oh. Rick and Zach both mentioned that there was a mob farm thing going on down there. Jeez, Mr. Enderman, you had to turn up now, didn't you? Right while I'm recording. Can't you just go somewhere else, please? You just having a wander around, just having a look about? Yeah, that's fine. That's what you get for giving them spawning spaces, I tell you. Uh, let's see, have I got Messer in here? Yeah, Messer. There we go. Put the Messer caverns in there. Okay, so we're going to go into the Messer caverns. Uh, I do have something else stored up, actually, if Mr. Enderman doesn't mind just wandering out of the way. Thank you. Uh, this stuff here, Aspirin. A few of the guys in the comments have told me about Aspirin having a regen effect, and I've tested that out. And also using up some of this uh, Christine... Uh, is a good idea as well because it gives you um, haste and that. Uh, I think that was pointed out by Denku, but it's this stuff rather than the glycine. Uh, I did try the other stuff, the glycine and that as well. Um, yeah, this is going to be problematic for me to look into now. Uh, blah, 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 everything everywhere. So I've got some uh, haste, regen and speed boost as well. So let's check this out, look. So now I've got regen 2 for the next 3 minutes. And I've also got a jump boost and a haste for the next 3 minutes as well. That's pretty epic, isn't it? You get a big jump boost. I can actually uh, potentially take damage from that. Uh, let's put uh, half of that away and half of that away. Because I'm not likely to need more than that. And if I do, then, well, it must be a very tough little chamber. Another thing I've heard... Pop this on... Another thing I heard was that these sort of places here, the smaller side project type areas, they only have one wool in, so nothing really to worry about. Was that someone behind me? No, nope. that's a load of guys in there, isn't it? Have I got any coal supplies in here? Uh, yeah. And sticks. Let's make a few more torches while we're at. There we go. Let's go pop That'll do. Just have one stack of torches to get me going. And while we're all hot and ready for it, we're going for a fight. Um, I'm not expect 
expecting miracles with this place, but I'm expecting to find at least one wool. At least one wool. And we'll just get in there and get lighting the place up. I'm going to use the F7 to show me where things can spawn and light up all of those obvious areas. Uh, with my mob farm thing going on as well, I should have a bit more of an advantage in all this. Uh, well, there's plenty of clay for me over there. There's another level there, and we go further down. Let's go down this way. Pop that out. Are they even coming for me yet? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. You're coming for me? You want some? It's going to be pretty dark down here, though, guys. Let's see what we can do about it, though. Get the place lit up. Uh, you're coming from up there. Okay. Put a torch over there. Put a torch down there. Let's try and keep this place well lit. It goes down pretty deep, doesn't it? Look at that. That's a pretty deep one. Uh, but I see a chest already down there. I don't know if you guys can see. Having some of that uh, carrot juice would be nice, I guess. Having carrot juice so I could actually uh, see in the dark would be awesome in these areas. Um, well. Well, well, well. Am I going to get round this way and get to them? Let's see. Uh, come on. Come on, you little gits. Come on. Don't make me jump down there into a month stall of you. I'll probably take a load of damage getting down there in front of you all. You could do with getting a bow, couldn't I? A bow would be nice. Yeah, a bow. A bow, a bow. My kingdom for a bow. Let's go back up then. Let's get a bow before we start this rubbish. Let's not do any messing around without a bow. Because I need to be able to shoot them, don't I? Uh, let's just work our way up and over. Uh, I was also thinking a use for the pumpkins. And as that's a pretty deep area, I might actually do something about it now. Uh, let's see. Let's clear that off. Let's go with... Have I got a bow in here already? Yes, I do. Okay. Seems good. Seems fine. Let's have that over here. Throw that away. Do I have arrows? If not, let's go and get some from the other place. Nine arrows. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, the carrot. The golden carrot. Somebody else said that. What uh, What was it they said? Um, Zach. Zach also said about golden carrot being put through mine chem uh, to turn it into what I need to make the carrots or at least the uh, re retinol retinol uh, retinol thing in order to uh, have the night vision so maybe we should look into that as well before we go into that place just poke my nose in there let's take a bunch of arrows and yeah there's a uh, ancient greaves of light ooh they look pretty cool they weren't there a minute ago were they they're fresh so mobs do drop some really cool stuff that's good that's good to know i like might try them boots on, actually. I'm due a new set of boots, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, these are unbreaking and give me full armor. These give me less armor, but have feather falling, unbreaking, and projectile protection. They're only gold, though. Uh, they're only gold, but we'll, we'll take care of that in another time. And all of these colored clays are going to do my head in, having loads and loads of them in the uh, inventory spaces. Okay. Uh, so, something else that I was thinking about then. Let's let's test this out while we're here. Uh, iron. You can make iron blocks, okay? Let's make a stack of iron blocks. And I've also got pumpkins. Can you guess what it... Pumpkins. No, pump kings. There we go. Uh, 21. That'll do for starters. Uh, can you guess what I'm going to do here? This is going to be funky. You remember how I took on the grey wool with uh, an army of golems? Well, exactly the same principle is going to happen here. Only this time I'm going to be sending iron golems to do the job because they do a much better job of it, don't they? And they also, they don't take fall damage. So we're good with fall damage here. Die, would you? Die. Thank you. Uh, so... Let's start by making them fall down and clear this way for me. Uh, yeah, and put one on the side there as well. Thank you. And then drop him down. Dude, get down there. Go and fight some stuff. Come on. 
Are you fighting invisible stuff? What are you fighting? Get down there. Go on. Fight that stuff. Clear that place out for me. Go on. Let's uh, have a look about he. Yep, he's uh, he's doing some damage, that's for sure. There he is. He's off. He's gone. He's keeping that place tidy over there. All right. Well, let's get the next guy to sort this place out then. Um, we look like we're we're clear on this section then. Yeah, we're clear on this section. We're clear here, dude. Yep. Let's put some torches down so you guys can see. He's off on a rampage over there. That's cool. Iron golems all for the win. Let's have a little army of them. Uh, what's going on down there? Oh, I've got the little spiders coming at me. Yeah, you're dying so soon. Um, okay. This this area, I'm not so sure about the layout. It looks like it's going up and down all over the place. I'm not so sure where I want to take it. I've got some zombies over there. Is that... Is he dead already? Okay. We need to make another one quickly then. Uh-huh. There we go. See to it, boy. See to it. Where are you going? You just got attracted to the first guy that you saw. What about this guy here? <laughs> Dumb golem. Dumb golem with a stupid, stupid idea of things. All right, let's make a, another couple. Uh, I know there's a lot of iron involved in this, but, well, infinite iron is as infinite iron will do. Uh, let's drop a guy down on their heads. Go on, down there. Get them sorted out, would you? That's it. Go and beat them up. That's it. Sort that out for me. Um, hmm. Can I get a torch down there to see what's going on? Yeah, keep it lit up. Send the golems in. Let's light this area up as well. I need to make sure that I keep everything well lit. I've got a bit of silver ore in here. That's nice. Got a bit of zinc up there. Now I've got a bit of peace and quiet. I can check these things out. Um, there's another layer over that side. I might work over to that way now. See what I get over that side. Um, if I can get up there without getting knocked off somewhere. Yep, what we got to be a, a little bit of tin ore. That's cool. Have I got a little spider coming at me? The trouble with these sort of places is there's a, a falling down process that you can go through. Just falling down. Let's see. Um, what was that? I don't think that was for me. But, yep, that's it. There, and go forth and slay the beasties. Go for it. Go on, you can do it. Let's have a look around here. Here's the first chest. Uh, still don't like the look of that hole down there. Well, I've got a couple of iron golems patrolling this area now, so that's nice. Ow, ow, ow. You're not getting through my armour, though, but you can have it anyway. All right, let's uh, light up over here quickly. Okay, we seem safe enough. Yep, there's another area down there to worry about, but I've already got some iron golems down there. Cool. Uh-huh. And there, there we go. And he's still patrolling down there. So, so far, we have taken over with our Iron Golem army. What's in here? A little bit of the clay that I'm after. Awesome. Just a little bit of clay. Well, that's better than no clay, isn't it? It's better than no clay. Uh, let's see if we can get around over here, then. want to get over this way a bit. Uh, without falling down a big hole. I have got a feather falling on now, which is a, a good thing. A bit of feather falling is always very useful. Um, there doesn't appear to be that many mobs at the minute, does there? Oh, there's a little creeper over there. Uh, why haven't I got my bow when I need it? Uh, let's put that on instead. Uh, yeah, you. Just shut up. I don't need dirt in this place. There's enough clay and stuff in here. Yep, and stay over there. Thank you. Were they falling off or something? I don't know. Oh, there's the exit up there still. Okay, so not far away that way. Uh, let's get round and down. Make sure nothing falls on our heads. And up here. Got the XP for that. Got some spiders over there. Let's uh, let's 
Set a golem on the job. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You think so. Have it. Just die. There we go. And you. Off you go. On patrol. Thank you. Which way are you going? Not going this way. Go this way. Patrol over here, look. No? Okay, fine. I'll get another golem to patrol over here instead, then. Go on, you. Get him. Sit. Have it. Do you recognise these guys or something? Oh, man. Do I have to do everything myself? Do you not recognise the sand ones? Is that the problem with these iron golems? They don't recognise the sand ones. Maybe. Well, I'm already running out of torches as well. Uh, hi. Yeah, you're going to take it? Yeah, that's better. They do recognise those ones. That's good. Good to know. And round here. The iron golems are much, much better than those other golems, aren't they? They're just so much more reliable. And this is where I came in, pretty much, isn't it? Well, that's cool. Uh, golems. See to it, golems. See to it. Oh, fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I don't need to worry too much about all this stuff. Um, right, regen. I think my regen's run out. I'll leave those guys up the top here. I've got plenty of space in my inventory still. So let's start working our way a bit further down. 